Hey Gaz, Simon Hartley's. Here's your walk round of the eldest. And usually it's not chucking it down in the Lake District today. Oh, excuse me, and try and get as much of the outside in for you as I can. You notice the uh, awning roof mounted on these wind out system. There's your back fit. I'll just show you some bits on the outside in a second as well to see now what goes where. So towards the back here, that's your toilet cassette, uh, emptier. This here is where your fresh water goes in. That's the gas flume, just lets the, uh, the gas uh, fumes out of the van. This one here is an under storage locker, goes underneath the front side sofa. Uh, this side you've got the gas locker here that's your mains hook up that's where you sorry that's the uh, external barbecue point two one five eldest aspire uh, electric entrance step that works on the button just here back out again. So on board you've got your own kitchen. Got your full oven there, your fridge freezer, three ring gas hob, one electric and then your water, hot and cold obviously. Fitted microwave just above the uh, kitchen area there with a the roof vent. That's your main control panel. That's where all of your uh, functions operate from. Pole here is your awning winder, just mounted inside the door. So, cupboard worktop there. Cupboards are on the top. I'll just give you a full view of the cupboards. Front sunroof. And then more cupboards along the driver's side. That's your controls there for your heating. It's got Aldi heating, which is um, underfloor. It's a good system. Back there, you've got uh, your separate toilet, wash basin, and then a separate shower room, cornered off with this door there. It's on a latch at the minute. So. You don't get the uh, bathroom wet when you're taking a shower. Uh, two side sofas. They basically pull together to make a double bed and you sleep transversely. So you sleep across the vehicle there. Both the cab seats swivel. I've left those in the uh, swivel position for you. And on the front there you've got your yeah, cab air conditioning, cruise control. And then you've got your locking and unlocking facilities there. Uh, reverse camera that's uh, the monitor for that obviously the camera's mounted on the rear of the van I'll just give you a bit of a lower down perspective <clears throat> so side sofa on the passenger side side sofa on the driver's side let's say you just basically pull these two together like so And then you just use the infill cushions on the back here to fill the centre in. Takes about 30 seconds to make the front bed up. So it's a two berth, two belts, a TV bracket there, no TV supplied. And then you've got your 12 volt and your main switches there for your plugs. Just pop back outside again and we'll give you the all important engine start up. Yeah. See the mileage there, 30,305. Let the glow plug go out. It starts on the engine. Okay. Any lights you can see there, 
uh, the seat belt light because you've not got your seat belt on. The door there to say that the door's open. Uh, the good old favourite there, the fuel warning lights on. Most people tend to drive their vehicles in on the uh, reserve. Uh, electric front windows, electric mirror glass. Uh, you can also lock the doors from the uh, panel there as well. I forgot to mention the alloy wheels, but the alloys are fitted. It's a nice van. Uh, it didn't come in long before the last lockdown, so that's literally how it arrived. Uh, we give it a full valet. Uh, a fresh MOT, which is not done here, it's sublet. Uh, a habitation service to check all the appliances that are working, gas leaks, water ingress, etc. And we give it a basic oil and filter engine service. Service gaps on these are once every two years or 20,000 miles. So they're pretty much maintenance free. Uh, yeah, nice van. Don't miss it. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, so initially, £1,000 deposit secures the vehicle. Uh, we will then start the preparation work for you. Uh, balance is due five days before delivery and delivery will be to your door uh, and no extra charge. Have that's okay for you mate, I'll speak to you soon, bye.